Um. No, because I wanna. I want to. I want to because he stole all my stuff. He breaks all my stuff. He breaks the yo. The things that I've gone through with him already is like mind boggling. Like I, like I really should air his shit out. Like I, I really should. I really should. But it's just it's not in me. Yeah, I think I'm snitching. That's not there's there's a whole lot of other shit that I, I could say, and I'm not saying. And they're not gonna do anything. He just said he's not gonna do anything. He just took all my stuff. And he needs to get his friend shit out of here too. Mula, come get your friend shit. I I could go to the door. But he's not leaving yet. He's still getting his stuff. Okay. Can I put this stuff outside? This is his friend's stuff. I don't want his friend's well, stuff in here either. Stuff. You can Tell him that he has to come get his friend's stuff, though. Because this, this is crazy. Look at his friend's room. Dirty boxes and all of this. It really ruined my life. He ruined my life. I've gotten arrested plenty of times because of him. I know his name. Y'all are dumb. Dumb. It's just embarrassing. Like he's just embarrassed me in so many different ways and, and violated me in so many different ways. Like he just he's not a good person. He's not. He's just not. I lost all my friends. I don't have nobody I could call, nothing. Like I don't have nothing and I'm all the way from home. Like I'm from New York and I moved all the way out here with him and I have no family out here, nothing. And can you take the, the house key from him at least? Because he's going to come back in here while I'm at work and ruin all my shit. Can you, can you sir? Too, it? But if he's leaving, how how y'all protecting him and not me? It doesn't make sense. You can leave if you want to also. Where am I going to go? Office, nobody's listening to me. I don't have nowhere to go. I have no money. I have nothing. I, he has my money. Y'all decided not to do anything about that. That's what I, I was going to work for. He has it. Y'all not doing anything about it. I have no family out here. I, all my family is in New York. I'm not from here. My license is a New York license. I'm not from here. And you guys are not helping me in no way, shape, or form. You're not protecting me or nothing. He could come up in here and shoot me. And y'all are not doing anything. We can't make him give the money back. Can I have the house key? The key. We can ask him if he wants to give you the key. Y'all, y'all not doing anything to protect me at all. I feel so violated right now. Where am I gonna go? Y'all not listening to me. They're not gonna arrest him. There is a couple of women shelters and stuff. Why the fuck would I want to go to a shelter? Well, if you're worried about staying here. Y'all not worried, so why should I be worried, right? I'm not in danger, right, officer? I don't know. Exactly, you don't know. But you also don't care. Mula, are you going to get your friend's stuff too? Or I'm going to put his stuff outside. I'm in Atlanta.
Oh no! Oh, now the pack will go in her room. Oh, wow. Look who finally decided the show. More police officers. They're protecting him. They won't let me know where near him because I, I was the one assaulted, but he's the one that needs to be protected, you guys. Remember that. Same thing, same blood call, man. Who's that? That's, can I can I speak to the officer? Next time you want to leave, or you can try this. Just like how we get here. Yeah. Is that that you were here before? Maybe I don't know. Is it okay? I don't want to to step on anything. What's up? I don't know. He he assaulted me, and obviously I'm the aggressive one. They're protecting him from me. What does that have to do with last time? Huh? What does that have to do with last time? Oh, cause last time he called on me to try to get me kicked out. So it was like, he was like saying that I was doing something and I did a buck call or something. No, I didn't because I didn't do anything. Exactly. He was the aggressive one, right? And now, and now I'm the aggressive one. And now I'm the, the crazy one. He ripped the shirt off of me and they're letting him leave. He stole my rent money and they're letting him leave. They're letting him pack his stuff and leave. You pack your stuff? He, he had even admitted to doing it. You also said that you gave him the money, not stole the money. All right, what about him ripping the shirt off of me and exposing my chest? Hold on, hold on. Oh, oh, hold, on hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Did he? he what about him out? ripping the shirt off of me, and exposing my breasts? What about, That's not sexual what harassment. About you saying you gave him the money. Now That's you're saying not. You why are you money? changing the subject? Why Am I asking you? Story? It ain't even twenty minutes. He stole my money. What are you talking about? You told me you gave it to him. I sent it to him, but now he's rent. keeping it because that is my money that I got paid for but for the work it. that I've done. But you sent it to him? Yes, to pay the rent. Okay. Did you guys pay the rent? No, he has the money and they're just letting him leave with it. Like, okay, fine. She yes. worked for the money. How yes. long have you guys been together? Me and him are not in a relationship. Like, he's not, so you it's not together, that. Right? Yeah, but that's, it's not that. How long have you been All I want oh, you is pay the rent by the first, tomorrow. You gotta pay the rent tomorrow. Yeah. Are you gonna pay the rent? No, he's not. No, he's not. We'll give him the money to pay the rent. So, bro, he doesn't even know. have a he doesn't even have a debit card. What is he paying the rent on? So why would you give him the money? Because I, I to avoid that, arguments, because he's petty. I, said, I don't have a debit card, so why would she give me the money? Does that make because sense? Because he's petty, why and we're arguing money? about petty stuff. To avoid money? the pettiness. I never said you didn't have a car. I did say you were broke, though. I did say that. All right, so if he doesn't pay the rent, then you go to civil way and work it out in court. Okay? I sent him the money because he likes to put his hands on women. That he likes to put his hands on women, so, so I so I, I gave him the money, the and yeah, then the no, next no. minute it was going to be an issue of oh where did the money go oh hey oh you're doing this you're doing that no I'm just going to send you the money because I don't want to be responsible for it, but if it was making me sound crazy then it's making me sound crazy because I literally had the text messages and the, and the transactions that I sent him the money, so it's not like I didn't send him the money. I sent him the money because he likes to put his hands on me. If he's packing all of his stuff, does it seem like he's coming back? Yeah. If he's packing all of his sneakers and everything. So, so listen, I never you keep you. talking over people and it's getting very, very annoying. Okay, okay? but don't, please I'm don't trying know. to talk to you and you just keep talking over me. Stop. Okay, I'm done talking. He lives here. This is his house. If he wants to come back, he could do so. You understand that? Mm -hmm. If you want him to leave, you could properly evict him. I never asked him to leave. Process, okay? I never asked him to leave. I just want my money back. That's okay, I just told you what you got to do. Okay. If you pay the rent, then you go the civil way. I try to get your money back. And, I can't and, get your and money back. The, you gave it to him. You shouldn't have gave it to him. Okay. Next time when you're going to pay rent, pay yourself. Don't give it to somebody else. Okay. Right. His phone not even on, bro. Yeah, girl. Let me see what's on this level, right? It might be on the gate. I might go open the gate for you. It's not. It's not his place. He doesn't pay any rent. He doesn't pay any bills. 
Him and his bum ass friend been staying here. He's done moved three of his bum ass friends inside the house already. He's he's no, he's not an internet guy. He's already moved three of his bum ass friends in here already. And I could really air his shit out right now and have him go right to fucking jail for a very long time. Yeah, I really should go see Judge Judy. Maybe Judge Judy will help me because Judge Judy don't play that shit. I just gave him the money because I didn't want to argue about it. Like, honestly, I didn't want to. And maybe that that really was a dumb thing to do, but it is what it is. Because one thing about having a job is you're going to get fucking paid again. Like, he doesn't have a fucking job. He could keep the fucking money and hold on to it for the rest of his fucking life. You might have an interesting night. I'm in Atlanta. Glad you could join us, Detective Osis. Thanks, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. I'm proficient on Spanglish. No, I'm saying before, but has we, bleh. from the time that we lived here in, um, since September, he has moved three of his bum ass friends in. They were supposed to help pay his half of the rent. They didn't help. So they ended up leaving. Yes, that's what I'm saying. He likes to put his hands on me. As you can see, he put his hands on me today, and the police aren't doing anything. How do I allow myself to... to... No, he didn't ask for the money. He was in an argument, and I just was like, take the money. I don't want to hold on to no money. And that was just that. I know it was um okay. We can stop. We can stop talking about it. I'm not gonna touch your stuff, bro. Do I ever touch your stuff, or is it you that's touching my stuff? Like he always breaks my stuff. Since I met him, I had two laptops. He broke both my laptops, and now he's like holding his stuff, like as if I'm about to fuck it up. And honestly, last month I tried to leave and go back to New York and he would not let me leave. Like, he literally did voodoo on me. No, they're not going to do that because his name is on the lease. They let him have the key, everything. So if he wanted to come back in here and shoot me and kill me tonight, it would just be whatever. They'll be back here to, to the, the detective's already here. So he'll be back here to investigate a murder. Yes, he did voodoo on me. I just fucking said that, bitch. I don't know how to flip the camera. How to flip the camera? I'm not. I'm not a spiteful person. Like I'm just not. I'm just not. All I wanted was my money back. That's all I wanted. So what is he? What is his friend stuff doing here, though? His friend's name. His friend is not on the lease. I don't mean to even talk loud. I'm, not, I'm sorry, but his name. His friend's not on the lease. So am I gonna get in trouble if I take his shit out here? No. Okay. He did voodoo on me because I seen it. It's like this um, domination thing that he be doing. And I seen that he did it. This room is fucking going outside though. Like, look at his dirty ass room. Like, look at this. Who stays like this? <sighs> They're here though. I should just wait till we leave. Yeah, I am. 
How am I dirty? This is his shit that I just took out of the room, trying to give it to him. I'm here though. No, we're not in a relationship. That's not my nigga. We fuck each other though, but yeah, he's, he's something else. Because I was just crying and being manhandled, you dumbass bitch, Mindy. Thank you, China. Thank you for everybody that's sending gifts and stuff. No, like I'm about to be fucking homeless. I'm not, I swear to God. He got a lot of stuff. So I don't know what the fuck he's doing. He's probably leaving right now. And he's probably gonna go and talk to his brother and I am play victim. Like, oh my gosh, you call the cops on me. Like, no, you call the cops on me when we first moved here and try to get me kicked out for no fucking reason. Like, literally, I asked him the next day and I was like, why did you call the cops on me? He was like, I don't know. He was like, I don't know. Mindy, shut up, please. You just said my face is dirty. My face is not fucking dirty, bitch. You don't see no crust and, and like I just woke up, ho. I was crying and I was just assaulted. Stop being a hoe and less problems. How is that being a hoe? They look, they're still there? Like y'all don't even watch him. They're in here fucking lollygagging and talking to me like. All right, ma'am. Listen. Let me talk. I'm not even saying anything. All right. so you're, you're about to talk. I wasn't right, about so to listen. say anything. So right now, he's going to leave. You yeah, both live here. If he doesn't pay the rent by tomorrow, you can call us. We'll go report him. He's stating that you gave him the money. You didn't get it. But if you want your money back and fight it to court, you can do so. Okay? Mm -hmm. So right now, I can't force him to give you the money. All right? We're going to entertain everything you stated. Go ahead and pull him in short. You know, it seems like y'all might want to go separate ways. Try to figure something out and go somewhere else. For, if he wants to come back to this house, he can. I can't kick him out and I can't kick you out. Do you understand that? Mm -hmm. So if you feel unsafe at any point, give us a call. We'll come back here and talk to you. Okay. okay. All right. Have a good night. I literally just want to cry. This shit been on. This shit been on. Sorry, I'm trying to get my friend to pull up after work because I can't. I don't want to be by myself right now. I have one friend from work. Like, he tried to embarrass me in front of her the other day. Like, she came over here so I could do her hair, and he was just, just, I don't know, he was in one of his moods and was just fucking with me again. Like, he... I guess because he's not like he's not making no money right now. He just let me lock this. Thing. He's not making no money right now, so he's frustrated. And he just takes it out on me. He just takes it out on me. Like this is the shirt he ripped off of me. Does this look like he took it off kindly? Does this look like like it was it was taken off in a normal matter? Does it? And people get fucked up, you guys. You guys act like you never been through nothing. You guys act like y'all perfect. No, I don't have any kids. Y'all act like y'all perfect and like everything's just peachy and, and life is a, is a walk in a park or something. Like, no, people go through things. People go through things.
bitch, I am home, you stupid bitch. She's like, oh, this is real life. Why are you on bingo? I don't understand why people don't drive home. Do, where does it look like I am? Y'all be seeing the dumbest shit. Honestly, I tried to leave and I just told you guys he did voodoo on me. Like, he literally did voodoo on me. I'm not trying to find the restraining order. I, I, I'm, I'm, I don't know. He didn't go to jail to let him leave. They, they just said that if he wants to come back, he could come back and I can't do anything. Like, I really could have aired his shit out and had him in jail right now, but I didn't want to do all of that. That's what I did. Like, literally, like, I came in here. I was giving him his key back. And I'm like, I'm driving back. Like, I had a U-Haul. I was about to drive home. I didn't give a fuck about nothing. And I ended up staying. Like, he just did voodoo on me. And now I can't. I, can't, I feel like I can't leave. Like, I feel like I can't leave. Like, I had my credit card. And like I said, I have a New York license. I can't, I can't do certain things because I don't have a credit card, a major credit card anymore. When you have my debit card, and I have to get a new uh, a Georgia license, it just sucks. Like I don't even. I'm not even the type to be on here crying. It's just like somebody has to know what's going on. Like somebody has to know what's going on. Like I'm. I don't have nobody out here. I don't have nobody. I don't have nobody. Like I. I grew up in foster care. I don't. I don't have family. I don't have nobody I could call or rely on. Like it's just me. It's just me. It's just me, and I don't know why I put all my faith in him. Like, I don't know why I did that. I don't know why I did that, just being young and dumb and not having no fucking direction. Or, like, I just didn't. Like, it just sucks. And then... My money, like, honestly, he didn't want to take me to work this morning. I get up and I walk to work every fucking day. I get up and I walk to work. I I walk to work, bro. Even when I don't want to go to work, I go to fucking work. I didn't want to go to work today. I was literally in work crying. And I still went. I still finished my day. And it's like, it just sucks. It just sucks. All of it is just gone. Yeah, I am too dependent. Find another boyfriend and sneak away. That's why he slapped the shit out of me the other day. Like that same time I was trying to leave the next day. Next day, he slapped me. Like I was standing right here and he slapped me all the way over there and left me on the floor. I told the police that my lip was busted open and I still had to go to work the next day. Because I was I was talking I wasn't even talking to nobody else. Like like I was talking to somebody else, but not like that. Like it was friends, but it was a guy and he didn't he just wasn't computing that me and him were just friends. Like he got mad and he slapped the shit out of me. As I was trying to explain to him the situation, he slapped the shit out of me and busted my lip open. Where am I supposed to go? I have no car. I have no money. Where am I supposed to go? He's not my man. We're not we're not together. I don't know. How slow do I sound? (laughs) 
what do y'all think like of an abusive relationship is like? I didn't even go and see what the fuck this room looks like. Like he probably took my shit. He probably He left. 